Hello, how are you guys doing today? Great to see you, Hi Manifestors here today. So questions I've been getting, so here's a question I got here. It's a basic question. The question says, ask me, hey Mark, is the law of attraction a real thing? So that's what we are going to cover today. The law of attraction. Is it real? And I have the answer to you. The law of attraction is real. It is very real. So I'm sure you guys heard a lot about this, right? Hey, your thoughts attract, you're positive, da 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 da. Does that have any real impact on our life? Well, scientists, quantum physicists, neuroscientists, cognitive behavioral therapists, individuals that deal with the brain and everything like that, they are now saying that all of our reality is no longer a physical construct. It is actually a mental pigmentation splatted out to our three-dimensional world, right? So that's what the law of attraction has been saying, right? So let me show you how this stuff works. And again, if you're tuning in or joining in, the question is, is the law of attraction real? And then, you know, how can you use this to your advantage, right? To clear your world and manifest more of the stuff you want. So let's jump into it. See, seeing I have over a few, what, 100 over, 100, over 100 here. Can you tell me in the comments what is the law of attraction to you and have you experienced any results from it? Hmm. Why you do that? What is the law of attraction to you? Have you experienced any results from it? And I'm going to show you in this video right now how to simplify the law of attraction to use it to get what you want in your life. Remember, remember now. This car I am sitting in right now is a product of the law of attraction. Remember guys, this is my E46 Dakar Yellow, one of 10 M3s, BMW M3s that was ever made in the entire world. And I got this car by winning the lottery, manifesting the lottery jackpot. And I bought my, this car right here you see me with, cash. So, if you want further proof, I don't know what else to tell you. Remember, I seen it in my mind and then it became my physical reality. You know this if you follow me, you can read all about it. You, I, have the, I have my book, Manifest in a Lottery, using quantum physics, Amazon, one of Amazon's bestseller. Go there, get the book, learn. I teach everything in there. In this video, I'm also going to help you to see how this stuff works, all right? So it does, just to open your eyes if you're new here, you say, all right, what is this guy talking about? I am... You ever wonder why? I'll, have you ever wondered why I'm always in my car? People say, "Man, you always sit in your car, Mark. What's going on?" This is why I'm in my car, because I manifested. This, this is my temple. This is the constant uh, reassurance, the constant recognition to my subconscious mind that what I did is possible and I can do it again. And it's for you, for your subconscious mind to see someone that actually done something that we all talk about and we hear about, right? Kevin says, I received $2,400 the other day. That's amazing. That's great. So you can use the law of attraction for anything. You can use the law of attraction to win the lottery like I did. You can use the law of attraction to manifest a business. You can use the law of attraction just to get more money, to get relationships, to get all this stuff in your life. You can do all that. So let me teach you and show you how to do it, all right? That, nope, it wouldn't be luck. Luck is not in the game or the cards. Uh, you can do all of that stuff, all right? So who we got here? All right, let's get this guy. Um, bye bye, black, blank, 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 blank. All right. So, what do you know about the law of attraction? Tell me, according to your experience, what is the law of attraction for you? Go ahead. What is your experience to the law of attraction? 
I won the lottery. I am such a, a fan. I've been following you for years on YouTube. Thank you. Everything you have taught is truth. All right. Believing is already to be true. Okay. So here, here's how, here's how it goes. All right. The the thing that the thing that will prevent you from using the universal force of the law of attraction is a voice in your head. So here's how it works. There's this voice we have in our head. Okay. The voice sounds like you and me. But here's the truth. That voice is not you. It's called a program. And the program, we hear the program through our conscious mind. The originator from the program is the subconscious. But it sends the feedback in our conscious mind using that program. So here's the first thing you got to understand. Whenever you have a voice in your head telling you, you're not worthy enough, you're not good enough, you can't get it, it's not possible, you shouldn't, da, 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 whatever the voice is telling you, you have to remember that it's a program. So now who you are, here's who you are. Who or what you are, it's not even who, it's a what you are. What you are is a fundamental force that is built into this, this field or universe. So you have a higher part of you that is here just to experience these things. And that higher part of you is connected to everything. And this is where the law of attraction comes in now. Because this higher part of you is everything, the universe is governed by a couple forces. Electricity, magnetism, okay? Law of attraction, right? Like attract light. So when you have a magnet, what does a magnet do? It pulls in, and right? A magnet also which reflects, because you put two opposing magnets together, they'll push away with different frequencies. Number two, the cells in your body, every single cell, this just has been proven by science now, every single cell in your body has a unique frequency now. They vibrate. If they had technology where they could listen, they could, you could listen to the sound of your cells, the vibration sound your cells make. So this has actually just been verified. Every single cell. So when a cell vibrates, it gives us a resonance. So here's how it works. The law of attraction is very real because where you are today is a component of what you were thinking yesterday, the day before yesterday, five days, five weeks, five years ago. Okay? That's how it works. Now, here's the important thing to remember, to notice about this thing. We now know that the universe, where you and I live right now, that you're watching this stuff, all the stuff you're watching, you're experiencing, it is a mental construct. So it's from the imagination that creates a physical perspective. Your brain really has a good job of filtering out things and giving you and I the illusion of reality. Reality. How does the brain does that? Well, by our feelings. We have pain, we have senses, we have receptors, we, we smell, all these things. But yet again, all of these things are made up. There's, there's no actual true smell of coffee. There's no true colors of red, green, or blue. It doesn't exist. It's all an imaginary conception that our brain produces to show us the world around us. Following me? Okay, this is important now. So once you understand that, okay, the next thing now, what controls your experiences? What, what controls what you see around you, people? two things what you think and how you feel let's go back again thinking feeling creates magnetic frequencies magnetism okay so with that being said since all of this is a mental construct everything that you want outside is also a mental construct it has to be there somewhere right According to quantum physics, aura colors, everything you see around you is an illusion. It's made up by your brain. Okay, so now you know everything is out. So here's how the law of attraction goes now. Here's how it goes. Once you can identify and put to quiet that voice in your head that's telling you you're not worthy, then you will free up what's called resistance. If you're focusing on the negative things in your head, you're not focusing on on the positive stuff that you want in front of you. Now, the next important component to this is the universe of this stuff. Okay, in this field where everything you want exists right this moment, in that field, there is no person, thing, that has intelligence that is telling you whether you can have it or not. I repeat that again, because this is where people get, this is where people really mess this stuff up. 
because they think that there is some kind of fate or there is someone higher than them or there is someone controlling what they deserve and what they do not deserve and repeat it again it does not exist what you feel you deserve and what you don't deserve is coming from your subconscious mind your own self it goes back to what what you believe about yourself so if you want to get the best in your life you better ship up and start believing that you deserve it that's all it takes no matter what you are no matter what position you are in your life male female no matter what you do in your life if you say to yourself and believe to yourself that I deserve that car I deserve that house I deserve that um, that raise without any reason why listen to me without any reason why now you open the field now let's go to physics and show you how this stuff work in the field it's just looking for a frequency it. If I put a frequency that I deserve to win more money in the lottery, to have my own house, to be more healthy. If I put a frequency out, how do I put a frequency out of doing that? There's two, two ways I put a frequency out. Number one, I think about it. Number two, I feel what it is. And number three, I do a self-talk to myself and tell myself I deserve it. I, I innately just start to convince myself I deserve it without any reason. Listen, this is the most important part of the process of manifesting. There is, you, there is no reason for you to have what you want. You can, it's just what you want is what you want. There shouldn't be, there's, I mean, what I mean by that, you, sh you, should, you should be able to get the house because you want the house. Not because are you worthy, are you qualified, do you make enough money, how is it going to come to you? None of that applies in the field. Okay, let me show you where the problem comes in now. The problem comes into the conscious mind, the ego mind. When you're in the ego mind, what happens is it now decides and judges whether you deserve that thing or not. If you, if you back up and you just join this live, I just stated before that that voice in your head is a program. Any type of negative thoughts or comments going on in your head, it is not true. It is not you. Write that down. Any negative thought in my head, it is not true and it is not you. They are programmed from our condition, behavioral patterns, our awareness, and our brain stores. Your brain's job is to see pattern, recognize pattern, store pattern, run pattern as habits, become actions, become your word, become your thinking, become your reality, becomes your physical experience. Okay? So, let's go now, let's jump ahead now to what we're doing. It's not true, it's not you. So now, once you have decided that that is what you want, now, what the law of attraction simply is, here's what the law of attraction is. It is electricity, magnetism, that works atomically, autonomously in the universe. It's a conveyor belt that brings to you whatever you want. It's not an intelligence. It's not a person that thinks. It doesn't decide if you, you did enough good deeds to get it. You did enough bad deeds to get it. It's not going to say you're not lucky. You did this when you were young. You messed up. It's none of that. It's a conveyor belt. It takes what you put out and it brings it to you. Now here's the most important part about this now. I'm going to talk about this. The attachment. Here's the bottom line. The more you are attached to the objects of your desires, the more you're going to rip the conveyor belt is going to pull them away. The more you're not attached to the objects of your desires, the conveyor belt will bring them to you. Mark, that makes no sense. Why does it work like that? Well, let me explain to you in science. Right, someone says, huh? Well, here's how it works, people. Remember, we live in a field of vibration, patterns, and frequency. In this field, the physical objects, the in inanimate objects, the money, the car, the whatever you want or desire, 
in the field is already a part of you because you are a part of the field so according to the physics of how this stuff says it says you already have the stuff that you want so it cannot give you something that you do not have so whenever you become attached to it you are telling the field that you don't have it but the field is looking to you and says this makes no sense you have it because the components of everything is made up so now you confuse the field so the field now says I can't handle this subconscious mind this is your job the subconscious mind says okay I'm illogical so he wants attachment I'm gonna give him more attachment and this is why you take longer to get what you want see how simply that is now 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 somebody says oh man this makes sense oh my god oh goodness for years I've been trying to figure this out goodness you just you just broke it down in like two seconds two minutes so you have to be non-attached to whatever it is you want that's simple so how do you become non-attached to something again it goes into your belief it goes into your convincing your mind so wh what's the best way to be non-attached here's the best way to be non-attached of anything in your life here's how the formula works think about the thing that you want once you think about the thing that you want ask yourself one question about the thing that you want here's the question you're gonna ask yourself about the thing that you want you're gonna say hey how would it make me feel to have that what would my life look like having that your body is going to generate the feeling of what it would feel like to have that your imagination is going to generate an image of what it would look like for you to have that when you do that you have convinced your mind repeatedly now you have just convinced your subconscious mind that you are not attached now when your subconscious mind sees that you're not attached now the field can bring it to you through the conveyor belt of the law of attraction now here's the most important another important part about this this is what people are going to ask me now this is the, this is the bingo question everyone wants to know but how but how am I going to get this stuff it is so big I mean I don't even have the money to get it but how but how also but when that's the next question whenever you are asking how and whenever you are asking when you have just went back into attachment I'm trying to tell you you need to be out, out of attachment so I got great news for you though I got good news for you right now here's the good news I have to tell you there is a part of you that its job is to figure out how and the when <laughs> there's a part of you that's made specifically to figure out the how and the when and I got another good news for you it's not your mind people it's not your regular thinking mind that you have been convinced that's what you do it's not that if that if your if your thinking mind is giving you options of how and when it's gonna happen breaking news it is lying it doesn't know it cannot know the regular mind was not created to figure out how or when the regular mind was created to observe and process the how and when it happens from something else what is that something else your subconscious mind your subconscious mind can go into the field again by the way I, I gotta mention in this field there exist infinite realities in this field so that means there, in, there exists in, infinite probabilities actualities circumstances realities of events that you've already manifested in this field it exists the how that you can imagine and the how that you can never imagine 
so your subconscious will enter this field it will select the right outcome according to your purpose your desires it selects it it sends it to your you here gets downloaded to your subconscious your subconscious works it out whenever it's ready it goes to your conscious your conscious direct is directed to take some sort of action which is called inspired action to go get the thing make the phone call or the subconscious directs outside sources to come to you to bring the thing to get the connection or the subconscious goes back to the conscious sends an idea for you to go create the thing get the thing voila that is the full course of the law of attraction someone says that does happen to me often May I ask you, Mark, how after your meditation, after much, well, I can't read this comment because someone just popped, you know, when they put the join the live thing here, I got to wait like seven, ten seconds, four, three, two, one, zero, now I can see you. Okay, uh, after your meditation, um, how much time manifested the lottery for you? The first time manifesting the lottery, it took over 12 months. Another time, that was the big win. Another time manifesting a big win, it took almost two years. Other times, it could take two weeks. Other times, it takes one month. Other times, it takes a few days. So, uh, my, well, the lesson here is the time is irrelevant. Don't get caught up in the time. For two years to 12 months, it doesn't matter. There's no such thing as time. It's just how your higher self works and when the time, divine timing is right for it to send it to you. That's how it works. Not bad. Okay? Yeah. You should not want anything. If you want it, it means you don't have it. That's correct. You already are everything. And that is that, that's the law of attraction. That what makes that that is what makes the law of attraction real. So there you have it. I hope I'm sure this will help you. I'm sure this helps someone to understand it. Uh, if you need more training, schooling, manifesting, then you can go join my community I created school to help you to manifest, to show you the stuff works, okay? Also, for those who want more of a personal level, then Mark has his one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. You guys have been telling me a lot. So Mark, talk, talk about your mentorship. Well, here it is. So you can sign up for that. I'll put the link in the description where I can teach you, set up a system for you. It is school, S-K-O-O-L. It's a members forum for you where I teach you. We do group coaching every Thursday via Zoom. People are manifesting lottery, business, all that stuff in there. Um, all of that comes from what I've done myself in this manifest in this car. I put what I've learned out to you so you can get in a practical way to create whatever you want in your life. And yes, uh, this should be recorded. So guys, just want to remember you, to remind you, the big, listen, before I go, here's the biggest tip I have to leave with you guys. Here's what it is. The, plat the platform I have, is not, it's an independent platform. Um, you can go into my, this is TikTok, so you TikTok video, you can go to my bio in my TikTok and you can see this, the link to, to go to sign up for the membership school and then you can take it to my website. Mar also YouTube guys, I'm on YouTube, just go Mark Houghton, everything is there, you can find me anything like that. Um, S-K-O-O-L, you can sign up. But look, before I leave, here's the thing I want you to remind you, okay? This is really important for you to get to where you want to go, okay? Here's the thing guys, um, you are very powerful. You are very, you are, you are, um, you're not physical. You're not even here. You're projection. What's holding you back is your ego, is the, the mind, that mind of limitation. So here, don't listen to it. Just remember, believe in yourself, not the self up here, the self outside. That is going, you're going to tap into your higher self. And that's what I, I train you guys to do that too. You're going to tap into your higher self. And that's where you're going to make this thing work a lot easier for you. And you can do anything. You can man you can manifest more lottery, big winner. There's people that have done this that want more money than ever could see, man. Just doing what I'm teaching you. And all of you are capable of doing that as well. So I'm here to tell you to make this stuff work. Remember, ignore the voice in your head that's telling you you're not worthy. You, you, if you can do that, 
you are 80% there. I can guarantee you. And with that being said, I will see you wonderful manifestors next time.